Hey guys, Josh here, and today we're going to take a look at Car Crash, which is Fans Project's representation of the G1 Stunicon breakdown. Uh, it does come with a few things, so some nice directions that show you actually how to go from robot to car and back to robot, so uh, a lot of them aren't even doing that anymore. And then you get this nice little bio card that's got a little picture of them there, and a little bio info. Uh, it doesn't have any tech specs, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. Um, before we get into them, I wanted to kind of show you a few comparisons. Here is the original G1 breakdown. Uh, so as you can see, this guy is white, and this one's a little bit more off-white. Uh, but, you know, still played uh, homage to the blue going around here on the sides. Uh, you also have, you know, the red here at the front. I'm going to end up getting a little Decepticon sticker to put on him and, you know, juice all these guys up. But really nice job. I uh, will go ahead and put him to the side. Uh, here's another little size comparison. Here's a G2 side swipe, uh, which is you know pretty much you know format off the G1. So uh, pretty much the same size as far as length goes, and um, you know there's a little side by side to kind of give you an idea how you know big this guy actually is in car mode. Now let's go ahead and take a look at him real quick. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to point out with him because I own the masterpiece side swipe and red alert version. Uh, you know, if you watch that review, I said that they were a little bit sloppy with the paint, and a lot of people agreed with me on that. Uh, with this guy, Fans Project has done, let me just make sure it's all focused in there, uh, a really excellent job with it. If you just look here at the tail light, some of the harder sections to paint, everything is in the lines. And I, I know that this is something that should be common with most Transformers or even third-party vehicles, especially the Masterpiece, but it's not something that we see on a consistent basis. So uh, even the rims are all painted silver there. The nice blue all lines up through the door panels, which is really nice. The headlights, they stay in lines where they're you know supposed to be. The red all matches up. So that's something that I really appreciate. And I would have no problem leaving this in car mode because it acts, you know it looks fantastic in my opinion. So uh, there's a little look at the car mode, you know, the bottom. Uh, kind of does a good job hiding a lot of the kibble. You can see... You know his face there. I guess you could turn it around if you wanted to. You know, I just didn't bother. Uh, his gun actually comes apart and serves as exhaust here in the back. You could push it up a little bit further, but uh, this little smaller section is a little bit more difficult to get off. So, go ahead and pop that off. Show you the gun real quick, and you just uh, wrong way. Put it together, and there you have his little gun. So pretty nice. And we'll go ahead and set that to the side here for a second. And give you one nice little look at this. I think this is an excellent vehicle. Uh, whenever, you, if you do get this, the first time or first few times you try to transform it, man, it is going to be tough. You know, getting all these little pegs in there because everything is so tight. And, um, you know, whenever they have the pegs, you'll kind of see here in a minute. You know, there's like a peg here, one there, one there, you know, and here that you have to get in to get this section in. So, um, it holds together nice, and there's not really a whole lot of gaps. I could probably press it together a little bit better, but, um, you know, enough talking about the car. Let's go ahead and get into the transformation here. Uh, first thing that we're going to do is just take this section and pull it apart. You have a waist section there that'll kind of separate, and we'll go ahead and get started on the legs. So we'll separate here. There we go. And there's these little panels here. I know it's going to be a little bit difficult to see, but if you lift up on this, you can actually swing the leg out. Now, before we finish with this leg, uh, I can kind of show you on here. If you can see right there, there's a hole. Well, there's a peg on this side. Uh, the whole purpose I was showing you the hole is there's one on the opposite side as well. But there's this peg right here that whenever you swing this leg around, you're going to have to get that peg and that hole. So uh, definitely not a children's toy. Uh, that's something that kind of worries me, but as you can see, we got it in there just fine. Kind of lines up. So there's a little bit better look at that right there. So you can close that up. Uh, it's something that it worries me a little bit, but uh, I, I think it'll be all right because I'm pretty careful with my toys for the most part. Uh, push down on the bumper right here. And then you can kind of push in with the wheel while pulling this up and that should go just like that then with this section here if you push these to the side if you just try to come apart with them you're really not going to have a whole lot of luck and you're probably going to end up cutting yourself because this plastic's pretty hard and pretty sharp uh, so you want to kind of tilt it this way or i guess that way right there to where they kind of go both at an angle and then you can um, kind of move 
this front piece and then this little small back section. Uh, that was something I was having trouble with at the beginning because um, I don't think the directions really uh, touch on that too much. It just kind of says move this this way and that that way. So that's something you know that I would keep in mind if you guys are getting this and transforming them. I'll make it a little bit easier. Open that up. We'll do the same with this leg. Make sure we get uh, this little thing on here. There we go. Close this little panel here and push the tire in or push the bumper down, tire in, and windshield out. And we kind of move that that way. Do the same with this one. Uh, kind of push these to the side, just like so. And it'll I think this is caught on this, yeah. I'll do it this way so we can get a little bit more clearance. Push them that way. Then we should be able to... This one's giving me problems. And this is what I was kind of talking about. There we go. Well, we got it there. So there are... Pretty much the legs done. I, I really like the way that these look, and you know the way the feet are. Um, you know, because it, it, I don't know, with the the heel spurs the way that they are, uh, it, it still looks really nice, and it doesn't look like it's a heel spur. It just looks, you know, uh, still like a foot. Uh, but at the same time, it gives you a lot of balance to put them in different poses that look really cool. Uh, then with this section here, you're going to uh, separate and take this peg out as well. We go. Uh, took his hand out. Pop that back in there. Do the same with this one here. There we go. Move this down, and with the arms, you're just going to extend those, and do the same with this one here. There we go. And you can push the waist down and kind of complete the look. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over articulation, then we'll put them in a pose and uh, go, you know, uh, size comparison and stuff like that. Uh, his head is on a ball joint, so it can kind of look all over, up and down. Uh, shoulder, it's on a ball joint as well, can kind of go, um, you know, in and out there. And there's also the separate uh, little hinge joint where you can see this little gray piece in here uh, to where you if you needed to extend his arm a little bit uh, It gives you a little bit more range of motion there, which is really cool and then with the bicep it does swivel The hand or the elbow bends and then the hands rotate as well Then with the waist it does rotate The legs can go forward back and then go you know to the side as well rotate bend here at the knee quite a bit and then as far as foot posability this is on a ball joint so it moves freely around uh, you also have you know toe bend there uh, the heel spur can bend back and forth as well there we go so quite a bit of movement there now let's go ahead and kind of put them in some semi-decent pose and we'll give them this little gun I just want to make sure that's all focused in. So there he is, and uh, here is T-Bone or Wild Rider. So you got him there side by side, pretty nice. And we'll go ahead and you know transform this guy just for the heck of it. And there he is with his G1 self. Uh, one more we'll bring in, and there's Fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime. So as you can see, they're a little bit smaller than, uh, you know, your Prime and, uh, you know, Deluxe figures or Fall of Cybertron Generation Deluxe figures. But still, they don't feel too small. They feel just the right size, in my opinion. So that's something I really like. Uh, they're a fun little toy. I absolutely love them. And so far, I think T-Bone's my favorite one. So I can't wait to do that review. And I'll talk to you guys later. Let me know what you think about these guys. You know, are you getting them? Have you already got them? Um, you know, just let me know. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.